There's definitely some stuff lost in translation. I will never be this popular again. Oh, you're gonna be on the ship? Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, is that your job? Yeah. No. Take care. Ingaka. If I officially dub the Philippines also the most gangster place in Asia. What's that? Welcome to the big city of the Philippines, Manila. We're in a very special part of Manila. We're on the other side of the river, where the city began. So right across this overhead bridge over here, if you go that way, you'll come upon the biggest monuments of Manila. Rizal Park, the Manila Cathedral, Intramuros, a fort, all the special stuff. A lot of it left behind by the Spanish. But I'm on the other side of the bridge. We're close to Chinatown, the oldest Chinatown in the world. Jeepneys. Went to the Philippines before, but I still haven't rode a jeepney. What's up? How are Yeah. I want to go to uh, Binondo. Where's Binondo? Okay. Is it, uh, it's okay over here? It's not delicado? No. Nah, it's good? Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. You guys have a nice day. Hey, my man. Hey. What's that? Traffic in this city is legendary. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's the worst traffic in the world. This is a Sunday and you still got cars backed up like that. Oh, what's up? What's, what's this? Oh. Is that a fire engine or a party? I don't... Hey, what's up? Hindi ko alam. So as I was trying to say, this is the oldest Chinatown in the world. The Chinese were here long before the Spanish, before the Americans. Somebody's saying, hey, hi. Oh, no, Welcome yeah, later, later. Hey, thank you, thank you. Salamat. Hey, hey, thanks. God, people are so friendly here. Oldest Chinatown in the world. And in recent years, modern China has been bringing in some investments, sprucing up the place a bit. But what's important to know is that right behind this Chinatown is the most feared ghetto in all the Philippines, Tondo. Now, I know. There are plenty of Mexicans and Brazilians watching this video right now and scoffing at what I'm saying. They're like, dude, this is Asia. Come on. But uh, no, this ain't Japan. This is the country that produced Manny Pacquiao. The Philippines is kind of a special case. There are parts of this country and certain neighborhoods where they will happily sock sock you. And uh, that definitely doesn't mean what you think it does. Pondo is one of those feared neighborhoods. Most Filipinos are afraid of going there. But it's also an important part of Manila's history and I gotta go check it out. So, with that in mind, back to wearing my trademark gray t-shirt and uh, got the Yankee hat back on, ready to go. Let's do this. Uh, but first, if we're in Chinatown, I kinda wanna find some good Shaolong Bao, some soup dumplings. Let's do that first. Should we try to ask a Chinese guy or should we try to ask a Filipino? I'll show the Shaolong Bao and he's dog right now. Okay, we're gonna do that You know what I find? Like the soup dumplings? This place right here? Okay. Thanks. Have a lot. Filipino dude's got the hook up there. This place looks like this looks like the spot right here. That, that, that's what I want. Now before we do this taste test, and before you skip over this part of the video, I should let you know that I lived in Shanghai for seven years. The home of Shaolong Bao, the home of soup dumplings. Alright? I could judge a good soup dumpling. Alright. Got to do Filipino Shaolong Bao taste test right here. $3.50 or something. 
If you're trying to get a basket of Shaolong Bao of this quality in New York City, it's gonna, they're gonna charge you like $25. Why do people live in New York again? I don't remember. You know, an interesting thing to note is that you could find little shrines and temples like this in Chinatowns across the world. You can find them in Hong Kong, you can find them in Taiwan, but you would never find them in mainland China because they were all destroyed during the Cultural Revolution. You can go in there, it's very hot. Yeah, thank you. Your Chinese is very good. Thank you. Thank you. 你在那是来这里长大了吗？对，我是在这里出生的。啊，OK，哦，你在菲律宾出生的。对对。所以你是菲律宾人。对对。但是中国学。OK。你上中国人。你在这里呃卖什么的？啊，这里是呃，好像是
Okay, what's this? Price. Yeah. Potato chips. You give me a massage? Potato chips. I don't know what's going on right now. Hey, give me a massage. Yeah. Yeah, massage. Where, 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 where do you want to bring me? Massage. Massage. Okay. Dilo, dilo. Wait, wait. You, you have girls to do massage? Yeah. Okay, maybe later. Not that. Apparently getting a free massage here. Okay, macano to. Dos. Two pesos. Two pesos, okay. I can give you two pesos. I need to uh, wash my hands. I'll wash my hands too, but I'm just going to give you a towel and a Okay. We gotta, we gotta wash some hands before What's up, what's up? Dito. Hi, my friend! What happened? What's up, what's up? What's the name? Got some in my eye. I gotta like wash my face for a bit. Oh, oh. Dito. Oh, Dito. Oh. Okay, this is the spot right here. Ugas, ugas. Okay, hold on. Ugas, my finger. Okay, I got it. You got soap? Oh. Wait, wait, just wait for you. Okay, sure. Okay. So the way sabon. She basically just speak Spanish here, you know? Sabon. Wait, wait. Okay. Nasaan ang sabon? Oh, you nasaan daw yung sabon ma? There you go. You go basketball. I've uh, just been talked into playing basketball. Probably not something you do every day. Good driving. So this is the basketball court right here. Hi, what's up? Come on, stop. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. We're going to play basketball. Hey, how you doing? Hi. You want a picture? Yeah. I'm going to play basketball, is that okay? I'll take a picture of you. Okay, picture, picture. Okay, here's a picture. Okay, we take a picture right now. Give me one, give me one. Okay. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, I got to play basketball, but I don't want to play It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good, okay, thank you. Thank you, good access. Salamat. <laughs> all right. Bomb. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mani Pacquiao. <laughs> what are all your names? Badong. I know I'm Pangalamo. Badong. Badong? Okay, so we got Badong over here. What's your name? I know I'm Pangalamo. Lando. Lando. Fernando. Lando Carisi. 
<laughs> What's your name? Fernando. Fernando. Okay. I got a lot of Fernando. So. This is Romolo. Romolo. Okay. Romolo. This guy Ganya. Okay. What? Well. Ganya. There we go. I, I do it. Cheers. Good morning, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going. Where can I put this? This is garbage. Garbage. <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> garbage. <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> okay, I mean, is this for your girlfriend? <laughs> you do this for your girlfriend? <laughs> right, right. No girlfriend? <laughs> okay. One day, one day. Yeah. You go to NBA? PBA? PBA and NBA. He's a fellow blogger. He's a fellow blogger. He's a TikToker. Yes. He's a TikToker. He's an Instagrammer. He's a TikToker. He's a TikToker. He's his name is Bayag. Bayag! My name is Bayag. Is that like Bobo? No, no. Bayag. Is that like Day Day? Bayag. Day Day? Mine. Mine. My hat? Give, 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 give. Oh, nah. Well, this is my hat. Because I'm from New York. I tell you what. You beat me. You play me in basketball. Yeah. You beat me in basketball. You play me in basketball. You beat me. You can have the hat. Trying to get a little worried that they keep asking for my hat. Jet log. That's jet log over there. Okay. There's definitely some stuff lost in translation. Go. There you go. That's it here. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys are like having lunch, dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink a red horse. Red horse? Yeah. You like, you like? I like the red horse, yeah, it's really good. You know people in America? No. No? Canada. On Canada. Okay. Many Filipinos in America, Canada. Can they can they join? Can they join? No, my auntie was there. Okay, your auntie's there. Okay, nice. Thank you, thank you. I'll buy you a I buy you a beer later. Alright, cheers to the Philippines. Cheers. 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 I already like this. Yeah, there we go. Cheers to the Philippines. Yeah. Pass a team, pass a team. Okay. One more, one more, one more. Hey, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. Very good. Yeah. My friend. It's not bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You, you play basketball? Because I'm a hood pick. Are you gonna dunk it? I'm gonna try. I can't, I can't dunk it. They got. These kids got way too high expectations of me. Josh, I'm sorry. That like the. Yeah. Let's see Okay. Are you okay? I'm okay, you know? It's okay. No problem. No problem. No. You're doing it right. Look at this vlogger over here. Hi, oh. <laughs> hey. There we go. There we go. We go. Whoa. Okay. okay. You come on me. You, you play game? Okay. Your shoes is not uh, playing basketball. No, these are basketball shoes. This oh. is Pablo Escobar. This is Pablo Escobar. Okay. Your blood. Oh, wait, wait. I put this in here. Uh, when you have multiple gang members asking you to give them your hat, I think it's a good time to leave. Next time. Next time. Next time, okay? Okay. I like your basketball. That's good. LeBron James. You're LeBron James. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> What is out here? Uh, thank you, boy. No, no, no. You give me 700. 700. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not that nice. <laughs> yeah. 700. 700. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salam al Okay. okay. Safe trip back. All right, bye bye. In a shout out, shout out. Hi, right, shout out, shout out. Who you want to shout out? You want to shout out your mom? John Briones. <laughs> John Briones. John Briones. Okay, John Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. See you later. I was just like overpaying everybody over there in the hood because you know what? I appreciate the hell out of the hospitality I got there, but all it takes is one asshole to ruin it for everybody. 
But yeah, that was kind of awesome, wasn't it? Thank you, thank you. Give me money. Oh, I knew you were gonna ask that. Give me money. Give me money. Oh yeah, I knew that was gonna be the follow-up. Give me money, please. Voila, from terra. Sorry, sorry, po. How you doing? What's up? What's up, everybody? You just, you just never know what you're gonna get walking down the street in the Philippines. Michael Big, Michael Big, Malamig, You want a picture? Sure, let's take a picture. Here we go. Yeah. I will never be this popular again. Here we go. Here we go. Wonderful. Oh, thank you. Makano to? 30. 30, okay. Very good. Your English is very good. Future Marcos. Future president. Okay. Is that your dog? I know. Oh, your dog, you have a dog. Okay, all right. I give you money just because you have a dog. Okay, there you go. Okay. Take care. Ingaka. Hey, Hey. I just want to see the rivers, okay? Okay, thank you. What's up? How much that? What's up? Yeah, there we go. Boom, yeah, boom. Is that your dog? Yeah. Okay. Nice. We're going to Germany tomorrow? Wow, why? Right, the ship is here. Oh, you're going to be on the ship? Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, is that your job? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of Filipinos are sailors, yeah, right? Yeah. Very common. Okay. <laughs> so you've been all over the world? Yeah. Wow, you've probably been to more countries than me. It's <laughs> What's your favorite country that you've been to? My favorite country is... Uh... Barbados is Barbados in the Caribbean. Yeah, they have a different energy over there, right? Yeah. You drink the rum? Of course. No, okay. <laughs> this is a good man right here. This is a good man. Okay, thank you, sir. You have a good trip. Safe trip. Almost stop. Right. These are the ports of Manila. And the ports of Manila have always been important. As the Spanish immediately noticed when they came here. Tondo, the place that we just went to, is actually the name one of the original kingdoms that controlled this area back in the day. They were a Muslim kingdom. Then the Spanish came along, defeated them, and eventually converted them to Christianity. Come on, stop. Give a shout out. Shout out, shout out. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out, shout out. Shout out, shout out. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, hey, there we go. Shout out. Okay, you're too late for the shout out. I leave now. Who's the most beautiful girl in the Philippines? Who is the most beautiful girl in the Philippines? Beautiful, beautiful girl? Yeah, what's her name? George. No, like, what? do you have a celebrity? Who's the most beautiful? The most maganda. My name is Bogart. My name is Bogart. My name is Bogart. Balia Rivera. Balia Rivera? Yeah. Okay, he shouts out Balia Rivera. Shout out from him. What's your name? My name is Baldugut. 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 That's his name. I know that's not a name. Baldo Goon shouts out Balia Rivera. Balia Rivera, you gotta come here to the port and meet all these fine gentlemen. Sounds like Artes. Yes, hello, ma'am. Balia Rivera, you know? Yeah. Wife of Ding Dong Gantes. Okay, what's her name? Uh, Ding Ding, just call me Ding Ding. Now, uh, Ding Ding, Ding Ding. Ding Ding shouts out Balia Rivera, too. I can't do any monologues here, so. <laughs> Let's try and find somewhere more quiet. I can. Yeah. You have a good one. The Philippines and Manila are without a doubt the most Latin South American place of Asia. I don't know if Filipinos will be offended if I officially dub the Philippines also the most gangster place of Asia. I say that loving. country is so Catholic, I just walked in on a wedding by accident. I've been told there's literally every Sunday a wedding going on here. You 
spite of the fact that this is the only country in the world where you can't get divorced. Marriage is still a big thing here. So if you want to book this church, the Manila Cathedral, one of the most important in the country, you got to do it in advance. Congratulations. Congratulations. Take care. Damn, nothing. Not even a thank you. I think I just realized the reason why they weren't responding to me is uh, they're not the ones who got married. That was like the bridesmaids. Alright, so I'm about to jump across town to an area called Makati, which is kind of seen as like, I guess, an upper class area. It's got some weird areas in of itself though. So uh, I'll see you once I get over there. Hello, sir. Alright. That's pretty funny. My grab driver was even like, I don't even go to Tondo. It's too dangerous. What, what is that? Viagra? Cialis? Oh, you may make that. I don't think I could. How much? I tell me how much you want. How many, how many people buy this every day? Uh, four tablets. Uh, this is a, uh, also kind of a weird neighborhood, but for a very different reason. Let me try and find somewhere a little more quiet. Oh, you got it too. It's like a Viagra parade out here. So this neighborhood, Poblacion in Mocati, is at the same time the hipster neighborhood with all the hostels, while also being the red light district. Which is kind of a weird combo, but you know, they all have the same reasoning for being here. Cheaper rent. Another thing that this neighborhood is known for is playing host to several international criminal organizations, such as our old friends, the Triads, as well as Korean gangsters, even the Italian mob and Russian mob. If you ever come here, you'll notice that there's also a huge Chinese presence here as well. But this time, the Chinese are coming directly from mainland China. If you walk around this neighborhood enough, you'll inevitably run into groups of young Chinese dudes in the 20s and 30s who don't speak English who are working for online gambling websites because gambling is illegal in China. So they come down here to operate the websites. But in a way, for better or worse, Manila has always been a place that attracted, shall we say, illegal activity. Even from the very beginning, before the Spanish arrived. Before the Spanish came, Chinese and Japanese smugglers used to come here to trade for silver. Back then, the Chinese Empire had restrictions on the import of silver from other places. And here was a place to get around that. So that's about it for our tour of some of the more notorious neighborhoods of Manila. Hope you enjoyed it. I think I still got a bit more to show you of this city. In my opinion, it's a little bit underrated. There's a lot to see. But we'll save that for the next time. I gotta get out of here before I inadvertently film something that gets the video demonetized. It happens to me all the time now. I'm gonna go get some Korean food. See you next time. Ingaka. Whoa. I gotta say, learning a bit of the local language, Tagalog, been really useful while traveling around the Philippines. You might be wondering, how did I do that? I didn't know much before coming here. Well, with like any other language, I studied on my own and I used Italki to find an online teacher. On Italki, you can have one-on-one -on -one customized language lessons with high-quality native-speaking teachers. You can learn more than 150 languages, including Japanese and Spanish. You pay per lesson with no subscription and no commitment and your lessons are priced from only $5. So like I said, I've recently been using it to learn Tagalog. Let me show you an example of what that looks like. Ate. Wait, no, that's just a... No. Uh, kuya. Actually, ate or sister, If uh, you will say ate if it's older than you. Italki is a service that I've generally used a lot myself. I've used it to learn Swahili, Luganda, Japanese, even Dutch for some reason. So you can know that it has my personal recommendation. So give it a try. Click on the link in the description and get $5 off your first lesson using the special code Tommy. The discount is only available to the first 50 people who join. So you better hurry yourself up.